What's up guys? In today's video we're going to talk about how we take a hole in the ground and make it look something like this. It'll just be a quick voiceover video so let's get into it. So after the hole is in the ground, uh, we go ahead and we get our form set. Um, as you can see, the form stops short of the uh, existing foundation. And when we pour the footings, we usually pour them with a, uh, they're pretty stiff. So uh, you'll be able to actually just kind of shovel the concrete in that section and it'll dam itself up but it allows for a really nice tight fit to the existing foundation. Uh, I got a short clip here of the guys getting the footings rolling, so we'll play that one out and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so that is the footings poured. Uh, there's a couple chunks of rebar that run around the perimeter. And then as you can see, there's a rebar that is bent in like a zigzag pattern that comes in and out of the footing, as well as some bars that just stick straight out of the footing. And uh, that will all key into the walls. There's also a key way in the center of the footing uh, that will kind of help keep the wall sitting nice and even on the footing and keep that wall from uh, kicking out at the bottom if you will so this is uh, forms in the hole right before the footing forms get stripped and the wall forms start going together uh, we'll jump into uh, wall forms partially up next so here's a progress pick of uh, forms going up. These ones are 6 foot 8 inches tall and they come in various widths on the 1 inch increment. So pretty simple straightforward. So I wasn't around when the actual walls were poured, um, but the walls were poured and all of our anchors were wet set. Uh, six foot on center is the code here, so pretty simple. Uh, next up, we'll jump into the floor. So this one was a little bit of an interesting foundation. Um, our frost walls need to be four foot deep, uh, but grade here kind of was against us. So we ended up going with a 71 inch wall or just under six feet. Um, as with all of my additions that are on typical crawl spaces, I always quote to do a two inch slurry coat. Um, this does a couple things. It's um, a much cleaner atmosphere in the crawl space. Um, you don't have all that dust and stuff in the air and in your home. It also seals up radon, which is a big deal in our area, and it also helps to keep bugs and rodents in the house to a minimum so uh, I always quote to do it that's why you can see the um, floor is actually inside the footing in a typical basement the floor would be on top of the footing and we would bail in pea stone and bring the subgrade up to the top of the footing and then the four inch polished concrete floor would go across the top all the way out to the walls so that's why this one might look a little different, but uh, this is how it shook out in this case, so such is life. But uh, that should wrap it up. Um, all of our slurry coats are just full floated. That's as far as it needs to be finished because this won't be a technical living space, but it will make for a pretty nice little short basement for these guys, so bonus for them. But uh, 
Next up is the finished product, and that's where I'm going to leave you guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this series is going well for you guys. I've been enjoying making it, so make sure to like and comment down below. Subscribe if I've earned it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.